In this video, I want to do a quick recap about improper fractions and mixed numbers. Now, let's take a mixed number such as 3 and 4 sevenths. Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but can you convert this mixed number to an improper fraction? To do that very quickly, take this 7, the denominator, multiply it by the big number out here. 7 times 3 is 21. Take that 21, add that numerator, that gives us 25, and we keep this over that same denominator of 7. So here we have a mixed number, and here we have an improper fraction. But as you can see here in this question, I really want to talk about how to go from an improper fraction back to a mixed number. And over the years of teaching, that's the thing that gets students sometimes. Well, here's how we do it. 25 over 7 means 25 divided by 7. We're going to use long division here to get this mixed number back. So I said 25 divided by 7. Whatever you're dividing by will go on the outside of your long division. Now, I know that's the smaller number here, and some students always think the smaller number goes on the outside. That is not the case. It's whatever you're dividing by, that's what goes on the outside. The 25, that's going to go on the inside. So blast from the past, long division. How many times does 7 go into 25? 7, 14, 21, 28. No, let's back up just three times. 7, 14, 21. 7 goes into 25 three times without going over. 3 times 7 is 21. And if we take that 25 minus 21, we have a remainder of 4. Look at these values. How many ever times 7 went into 25, in this case 3? That's our big number in our mixed number. The remainder that we get, 4 in this case, that's going to be the numerator of our fraction in our mixed number. And then whatever we were dividing by, 7 in this case, there's our denominator. Now, sometimes your long division can get longer depending on how big these numbers are, but that is how you can take an improper fraction and convert it back to a mixed number, long division. And as an added bonus here, I pulled out my TI-84, I typed in that mixed number of three and four sevenths, and yes, it did automatically convert it to an improper fraction. But if your calculator does not do that, you can still check your work. Three and four sevenths means three plus four sevenths. Grab your calculator, do order of operations, take four divided by seven first, add three to that, and I guarantee you, you'll get this funky looking number right here. Well, notice what I did on this next piece here. 25 divided by seven. That is our improper fraction. And what I really want you to notice here is that we're getting the exact same decimal. This is a great checking tool that you can use on any calculator, even if you don't have a fraction button. For more math practice, check out www.bcraftmath.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found this helpful.